fact, obtaining a driver's license in the United Kingdom is way more difficult than getting one here in the Great White North. Over there, you have to score 86% on the written test just in order to get a learner's permit. And then there's the practical test. On the UK practical test, why, you have to not only park on a hill, you have to legitimately parallel park, and then you have to get out of a difficult driving situation without the test adjudicator saying a damn word. Is that why on British roads, they have less than half the per capita driving deaths that we have here? I don't know, but I do sincerely believe that if any of these eight people took a driver's test in the United Kingdom, they would fail, because these are not ordinary motorists. Oh no. One of them is Canada's worst driver. Knowing where your wheels are is something we talk about a lot here at the Driver Rehabilitation Center to see if Canada's worst drivers are aware of exactly where their rubber meets the road. It's time for an annual challenge we call Riding the Rails. They'll drive forward on two rails and then they'll reverse all the way to the back. And they'll do that in this Suzuki sidekick over these perfectly positioned rails. Cody will show you how it's done. Okay, where's my mirror? Once his mirrors are set to see where his rear tires touch the ground, Cody gets lined up and drives perfectly onto the ramp. He knows exactly what he's doing. That one's good. They're all good, all the way across the rails. See, there's really no reason that Cody's here, except for attitude. Remind me again why you're in driver's rehab? Because I'm an idiot? Because you're an idiot. Correct. At home in Manitoba, Cody drives so idiotically, his license has been suspended six times. For an average person to renew their license is about $45. For me, it's about $2,600. Cody's girlfriend, Sarah, says she will leave him if he doesn't stop driving illegally. I don't appreciate the stunting and recklessness behind the wheel. Have you thought about the ways you're going to make amends and prove to us that you're not an idiot? I'm not sure. Daniela has no idea where her wheels are. <laughs> so let's look. Let's look down in your car. Down on the driver's side floor is an elevated platform called the dead pedal, which is directly behind the left front wheel. Oh, I've never seen that before. At home in Kitchener, Ontario, Daniela doesn't know what's in front of her. Watch the pedestrian. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. She doesn't know what's beside her. Can you check your blind spot? Nope. And she doesn't know what's behind her. I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> Get away from me. I don't want to be on here. Daniela's sister, Chantal, nominated her as Canada's worst driver. Don't freak out. Okay, shut up. What? <laughs> That's like a double fail. Diana will drive with her Bible, her Koran, some tarot cards to pick from, and a weird stick. Let me carry the oh. staff of life or whatever this okay. nonsense is. Would you like to pick one first? No, I okay. would not like that okay. at all. Behind the wheel in Edmonton, it's the same story. I haven't driven with Diana since 2005. Jody, Diana's concerned brother-in-law, won't get in the car with her because Diana puts more emphasis on superstition than skill. I've had eight accidents. Before the rails course, Diana prayed for success. 
Will it work? <laughs> Does Mike know where his wheels are? When you broke the sidebar on our truck, the step bar, you didn't know where your wheels were then. Mike's worst accident wasn't his fault. I was struck by a person that fell asleep at the wheel on the highway. I bounced my head off the steering wheel and uh, the motor ended up on my date's lap. Mike's date was Christian, who is now his wife. The witnesses said that when the cars collided, it was like bumper cars. That crash gave Mike permanent brain damage. Keep it on the road, please. The sad irony is that due to his brain damage, that's a rumble line. Mike is now one of Canada's worst drivers. Dad, have you noticed that there's a stop no, sign No, I did there? not notice the stop sign. On the rails challenge, Mike succeeds. Good job, baby! Once Crystal checks all of her text messages, she starts driving with the parking brake on. I think this car is broken. <sighs> this car's too hard to drive. What's the matter? I think the car is broken. You think it's broken? Stop, 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 stop. Put in park. There's a thing called the handbrake. It's right there. It's usually put on when you're in a vehicle that you're not driving. And it's on, so you should always check to make sure it's not up before you go, because if it is, you will have a lurchy drive. Who checks the handbrake? Driving to rehab last episode. Selfish Crystal checked her cell phone a lot, but not much else. That's a stop sign. We just ran a stop sign. There's nobody there. It doesn't matter. Crystal's brother, Steven, worries she's going to kill someone. What are you doing? Crystal's aggressive driving style is downright stupid. Hey! Crystal, there's a well, car! She's there's trying a to... car! She ran stop signs. That's a stop sign. Stop I'll sign. to calm down. She passed on double yellow lines. That's a solid line. And she clung to her cell phone. Aww, so cute. With all the neediness of a crack addict. Are you watching your speed or your phone? My phone. The way you drive can only be described as the driving of a horrible person. I don't want to be a horrible person. No. On the rails course, Crystal manages to stay on going forward. Oh! But for the reverse... Well, if I just don't do anything and just go backwards, then I'll be fine. She doesn't steer or use her mirrors. Rinder moved to Canada from India four years ago. That is an incredibly fast takeoff. Being incredibly fast is an incredibly dangerous part of Amrinder's daily driving style. Cell phone use is also part of his daily driving style. Oh. What? Can I stop using your phone? Amrinder's friend Akash says Amrinder has had countless accidents. I've had so many cars that I don't even remember the smaller accident. The major ones are five. Going backwards on the rails. Let's go straight, straight. Amrinder holds tight and lucks out. Yeah, we are there, we are there, we are there. Lou is amazed to learn that if she puts her left foot on the dead pedal, it will be directly behind the left front wheel. You can always put it there and reference where your front wheel is. Okay. Okay? Give myself a little bit of gas to get up on top. Knowing that her left foot is behind the left front wheel, Lou is able to make it over the rails. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Lou's husband, Derek, encouraged her to get her license last year. To date, Lou has only driven alone four times. That's a yellow. Oh my god. I can't 
can't. <laughs> On my advice. Oh, the mirrors, of course, the mirrors. Of course. <laughs> Lou sets her mirrors. So you can yeah. see yeah. that tire now, yeah, right? Yeah, I can see it now. But she isn't skilled enough to use them properly yet. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's okay. Does Tyler know where his wheels are? No. Really? Sometimes no. You're one of those people that runs into curbs and hits every yes, pothole? Yes, sir. And... Yeah. Not knowing where his wheels are leads to frequent parking lot side swipes. Holy And incessant bumper banging. Holy man, I'm just going to lose my But Tyler's wife, Jana, says he has a much bigger problem than that. Tyler drinks when he's driving to calm his nerves. This is a prime example, you know, hitting a tree, you know, drunk. Amazing. Every single one of Canada's worst drivers this year drove confidently onto the ramp. That's not something we've ever seen before. Usually, they fall off like that. Oh! Holy, Holy What happened? When we come back, <laughs> Canada's worst drivers race each other in reverse. Oh. Well, for a race where I said if you hit something, you lose, I think we're looking at two losers. Cars are being engineered so brilliantly these days, they're basically becoming robots. And the manufacturers of these new robotic cars are doing things like trying to engineer them so that they will drive around a long corner in reverse by themselves. Hey, did you know that in the UK, a mandatory part of their driving test is reversing around a long corner? In honor of that, the next challenge for Canada's worst drivers is to reverse around a long corner. They'll be reversing around this long corner in a head-to-head -head fashion. When drivers make it to the circle, they must turn themselves around and reverse back to where they started from. Before Lou reverses against Daniela, they will both receive a basic reversing lesson from Tim Danter. So what we're gonna do for backing is we're gonna put our left hand at 12 o'clock. Here at the Driver Rehabilitation Center, Tim is part of our panel of experts. Cam Woolley is our legal expert. Shamala Kiru is our therapist. Philippe Letourneau is our high speed specialist. And Tim Danter is our head driving instructor. We're gonna push our left foot over against the dead pedal here. And what that's gonna do is it's going to enable you to push your body around and twist so that you can look directly out the rear window down the course. You ready? On your mark, get set. They're both looking at me. Go! And we're off. Only at the rehab center do races start that slowly. Lou starts without ever referencing her side mirrors, which is something Tim said to do in the lesson. We can use our wing mirrors as references when backing. Okay, try and take your forward a little bit. Yep. And Daniela starts with giant amounts of steering, which is something Tim said not to do in the lesson. Whenever you back, mm -hmm. it's very, very slight movements of the wheel. Nice. <laughs> that wasn't good. This isn't good either. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, Daniela makes it to the turnaround circle, then whoops, starts banging her way towards the finish line. You're hitting everything. Ah, oh, it's that kind of race. You're not paying attention. To what? To anything. D see? Daniela, this is not a little movement. Oh, 
after five minutes. I have no idea what I'm doing. Daniela finally completes this 60 meter course. Do you want to try going up the course again? Yeah. Yeah, do it. So what went wrong there? Did I closed my eyes. Your, you closed your eyes? Really? Yeah. While Lou struggles, <sighs> Daniela Sometimes I hate driving! Makes it all the way up and back for her second time. That was worse. Then she goes all the way up <laughs> and back again. Can you make it up one more time and back before she gets here? Yep. She can indeed make it all the way up. And back while Lou goes nowhere fast. Are we being greedy to think we can go back and forth no, one I can more do time? It. You can? Yeah. This time Daniela has a clean run up. I did it! <laughs> and a clean run back. This is what happens when you practice. I did it! Daniela is learning. I hit a lot, but by the end I did a lot better. You okay? No. No. Lou needs to learn to take more risks in rehab. I learned that I can reverse. Actually, I didn't learn that. I already knew that. Once Tyler and Diana get their reversing lesson, Diana puts on a backpack. You wear your backpack every time you drive? You bet. You're kidding. A guard is my armor, and I will not take it off for anybody. Diana believes the backpack guards her. It's my life. It's the thing that's going to snap your spine if you get rear-ended. Just to make you happy? Yeah, it would make me more happy. I'll wear it on my front. No. No? Put it in the back seat. The associations that she's made with all of these objects, has it's become completely unhealthy. While I chat with Tyler, Diana retrieves her perceived protection. On your mark, get set, go! And Diana's off like a bat out of hell. Holy crow. Well, that's a stir. Diana makes it to the turnaround section without hitting anything. It's impressive. Tyler is less impressive. Oh, she's kicking my ass. Whoa. Did you touch anything? Oh, I touched a little thing. Diana didn't win the race. I said Safe. the winner is who hits nothing. Oh, f are you kidding me? Man. Oh. It's scary to remember that Tyler drives drunk. This is embarrassing, man. When we come back... I'm checking my mirrors. Okay. I forgot to check my mirrors, actually. Mike gives Cody a dose of reality. My life is now hell. Before brain injured Mike reverses against reckless Cody, I want Cody to hear what another reckless driver did to Mike. Uh, 13 years ago, I was in a head on collision on the highway. I was in a coma for seven weeks. I had to relearn how to talk, walk, eat, sleep, everything. Sorry to Don't have to be sorry, man. I'm living. How hurt were you? My elbow was snapped. This side of my face was crushed. It's been reconstructed. I have nerve damage here. Um, my sacrums have been broken. Where the dash meets the windshield, 
I peeled my own face out of there. That's not too heavy-handed for us to come and no. get you to hear that story, right? No. <laughs> Something I need. So that could have been me that did that to them. For me personally, you're the guy that killed me. Mike, from my heart, I'm, I, I really think and know I'm gonna change my ways so that something like this doesn't happen to anyone again. Man, thanks, thanks Mike, buddy. On the reverse course, Cody is only looking at his mirrors. If you use your mirrors 100%, you're asking for trouble. Ooh. Ooh. I hit it. Ooh. Cody isn't as good of a driver as he thinks he is. After that conversation, and I say to you, don't hit anything, you get in here and you immediately go too fast. Learn, man, learn, learn, learn. Ah, oh, jeez. Mike is also unable to pull off a clean run. How was that, Mike? I wasn't impressed. At least, though, Mike is learning. I used to just reverse with the mirrors. Okay. I never even knew to look backwards. The final race is between Speed Demon Amrinder and cell phone addict Crystal. Go! F him, I'm gonna beat him. I'm not gonna hit anything today. Oh. If Crystal would equate safe driving with winning... I just wanna win! I hate losing. She'd be the safest driver on the road. I just wanna win. I just wanna win. He might cross the line first, but ding, 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 there's your winner right there. Good job. Crystal won because she didn't hit anything. And she didn't hit anything because for the first time ever, she drove without her cell phone. Proving? It's safer when you leave your phone somewhere else. Okay. When we come back, shoulder check. it's our annual shoulder check challenge. Oh, that was a epic fail. Canada's worst drivers aren't very good at shoulder checking to see what's in their blind spots. Sorry, I'm sorry. Now what? Now? 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 I'm going. <laughs> Wait! God, Danielle, you have to look at your blind spot. When I was switching lanes, I didn't check my blind spots, and I bumped into another van. Your blind spot is the space beside you that can't be seen in your wing mirror. I can see my blind spot in my you mirror. You can't see. Watch me in the mirror, OK? OK. You see me, right? Yes. Do you still see me? No. Do you see me out of your peripheral vision? No. No, you don't, do you? No. So imagine if you change lanes right now and I'm on a motorcycle. What happens? I would kill you. Yeah. But I'm here on my motorcycle, right? Yeah. Shoulder check. Hi, Daniela. Hi. No longer blind, is it? No. That's the only way you can see before you change lanes. And that's what we mean when we say there's a blind spot in your car. OK. OK? Did you know that that even existed? No. Philippe Letourneau will now teach Canada's worst drivers how to do a proper shoulder check. Do a shoulder check to the right. All right, do a shoulder check to the left. All right. So you're, you're going like this. Yes. Every time you do that, you're taking a risk of drifting. That does happen highway. to me. So when you do a shoulder check, 
All you have to do is turn your head. So don't turn your body. You don't need to turn your body. All you have to do is turn your head. The shoulder should always, always stay connected to the okay. seat, okay? Once all of Canada's worst drivers learn how to do a proper shoulder check. Perfect, do one to the left. See, I didn't know that. Nobody taught me this stuff. It's time for the shoulder check challenge. For this challenge, Canada's worst drivers will have the unbridled joy of riding our feisty Mustang. And they will ride that brand new thoroughbred down this laneway at 70 kilometers an hour. When they pass these two pillars, they must perform a shoulder check to look back and see which pillar has a red square and which one is green. Then they need to drive into the lane that is on the green side as I shall now demonstrate. <sighs> okay, 70 kilometers an hour, which is no trouble at all for this Mustang. That's 50 right there, 60. That's 70. Plenty of time to hone in on 70. When I look, that one's red, that one's green. Whoa, and that is a tight swerve into the other lane. But I made it because it's doable. Now, can Canada's worst drivers do it? We're about to find out. Mike checks over both shoulders correctly, but making a safe lane change is beyond him. I hope I'm getting better at what I'm healing with. Yeah. Uh, Not what you're dealing with, what you're healing with. Yes. Mike's brain injury is slightly but constantly getting better. I'm going to heal for the rest of my life. Cody insists his conversation with Mike had a profound effect on him. I really, really think that conversation did sink in. Is Cody a changed man or is he just pulling on a chain? Can Cody even do a lane change after shoulder checking at 70? Red, green. Okay. Cody can drive, but Sarah doesn't think he will drive safely in public. You don't have faith in me. <laughs> it seems like nobody does. Diana has her backpack in the back seat where it belongs. 70, 70, 70, 70. Okay, shoulder check. Left green, red, uh, right. Diana did well. Do you know why I think you did well? Tell me. Because you weren't sitting on a backpack while you're trying to drive. You're probably right. Amrinder is speeding. Red, green. Amrinder now knows how to shoulder check. Oh, I'm pretty excited I did that on 70. You did it on 80, you Mr. Speed Freak. Oh. <laughs> Lou rarely drives 70. Red, 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 red. Ready, ready, ready. Green, which means that's red, which means I'm going here. Whoops, I clipped, I clipped. Okay. Lou fails. But I'm learning stuff. Exactly. And to me, that's a victory, and I'll take it. When we come back, Why not? Daniela knocks the bumper off the car. <laughs> Here, take that too. That's yours. <laughs> Thank you. Before Canada's worst drivers do our shoulder check challenge, I always offer to show them the course. And so far, they've all accepted that offer. Crystal, though, is more interested in her phone than the challenge. Okay, one this second. Is why we shouldn't Just bother talking about this. Hello? 
Well, they're calling me again. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Put that away. You need to see the course. You need to go no, down no, there. I'm You're fine. good? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's do it. When you have Andrew asking you, you know, you want to, do you want to see the course? The answer should be yes. I think it's kind of dumb that Crystal isn't paying attention to the tips I'm giving her. You're going to maintain 70 right throughout this whole thing, and that's all there is to it. So, you, you do understand, or should I text it to you? I'm not texting while I'm doing the activity. Thanks, Andrew. So you've got your phone tucked away, or is it just in your lap on vibrate? <laughs> I'm still on it until you tell me to go. Glad to know your focus has really come into play here. Oh my God, stop nagging me. You're like hey, my you're mother. Text until it's time to go? Done, Andrew, I'm ready. Whoa, here she comes and she sounds fast. This is so easy. Okay. Ready? And it's right on the Oh, like, oh, oh Wow. Aren't you glad that wasn't a concrete wall? Would you get off your phone? Crystal once rear-ended a guy because she didn't have enough time to stop and she didn't know how to swerve around him. It has nothing to do with my phone because I didn't even use my phone. It's got to do with focus. No? It's not even a big deal. Like, that would never happen in real life. What? You just told me before it happened that you understood no, the concept. No, I told you that someone slammed on their brakes and they hit their car. That's That happens. Holy crap. You think that... You think that... Are you okay? Relax. It's not a big deal. You don't, you don't get the point of that challenge at all, eh? I would never check both ways. I would just stop. I would just slam You can't on. stop in some situations. And if you're wondering why it winds me up, it's because more than four people a day die on Canadian roads, and it's because of people like you that think that it's about nothing. This is about something, and it's about being safe. And if you don't get that, when you leave here, you're going to be just as unsafe as you are now. When we say go 70, go 70. Well, I don't even know how fast I was going. I forgot to look. You were going 100. Oh, when you're driving a car, look at how fast you're going. I didn't even feel like I was going that fast. 70. Let's do it again. Remind me again why uh, you decided to come to rehab, Crystal. Like, wh what are you hoping to get out of this experience? I wanted to learn how to reverse, and I did that. What do you think about the steps and go over what you need to do to pass this challenge? Andrew, I'm going to put my phone in the back seat. Watch. I think that when you think about what you're about to do before you do it, you're good. Okay, wait. No, I'm not ready. Um. Okay, I'm ready. Make sure you're going 70. Check your speed. Oh, I'm going you got this. Okay. I'm going. Um, That's okay. I can go. No, no braking. Check. Green. I can't check the other way. Whatever. Look where you want to go. Did you did better? I did better. A lot better. I didn't check the other way though, but that's okay. I really want Crystal to learn this shoulder checking skill. So I appeal to her competitive nature, and I bet her that she can't focus and pass even if I give her a third try. I'm focused. Okay, I'm at where 70. You go. I'm at 70. Where you I'm looking. Go. Red, green. <laughs> you Hands on the wheel. You Hands on the wheel. Andrew. Not oh, you, Andrew. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew, for teaching my sister how to drive. No, you didn't teach me. Crystal learned today, even if she thinks she didn't. I like competition. You challenged me, so I had to make you eat your words. But see, I'm, I'm, I'm not eating my words because I'm happy because I'm, I'm the teacher. So the fact that we got you to do it doesn't mean that I lost. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but it Don't feels like that? I still won. It's time to show Daniela the course. Zoom, you come out of here flying. Oh my God, am I really gonna move so fast? Yeah, that's 70 right there. And you go through, you shoulder check right now, shoulder check. No. Shoulder check. Red. Green. Right? Green's on this side. Ah! Oh my god! Okay? That's it. Okay? You can do that, and you have to do that if you're a driver. 
I think Andrew's doing the right thing. He needs to expose her to this fear and show her that she'll be fine. If okay. you punch it, watch his feeling. Oh, oh no! My God. You're going faster and faster, faster. Now you're at 70, you can just coast. I'm still at 70, I'm still at 70, I'm still oh at 70. Oh my God, can you stop the car? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. We might die today. No, 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 nobody's dying. No Chantel, nobody's dying. we might die. Daniela, will she go 70? Will she punch it and go too fast? Will she crawl and go too slow? Only one way to find out. I didn't want to look. I'm not ready for this. Sure you are, sure you are, because it's a safe place. Try it. You don't even need to do the shoulder check if you don't want to. Just go through there at 70 or 80 and make the turn into the lane. You okay. can do it. Okay, Come on, just try it. Go for it. Good job. Good job. Good job. But I don't want to do it! Why not? So it's okay. Just breathe. It's okay. It's okay, Daniela. It's okay. Just put it in part. I'm so scared right now. Daniela knocked the front bumper loose. I want to go home. <laughs> Tyler doesn't like the car's new look. No, oh, man, that's unacceptable. Also unacceptable is the fact that Tyler doesn't know what a blind spot is. Now, do you see me in your side mirror? No, I do not. Do you see me in your rear view mirror? No. Do you see me out of your peripheral vision? No. No, and that's what we mean when we say blind spot. Holy I didn't know that. Shoulder check. Hi. Hi, I can see you. That's why we do a shoulder check, buddy. You bet. Tyler thought the words blind spot were just two English words in a row that had no real meaning. When Tyler looks into his blind spot, he jiggles the wheel. Great. Oh, that was a epic fail. When we come back, Canada's worst drivers get face to face with our experts. Do you want to graduate? Uh, yeah. Who will the experts and I choose as this season's first graduate? Well, it won't be Crystal, who wants the panel to know that she does not appreciate the things I've been saying to her. So, in my time here, Andrew's called me selfish. That's true. A horrible person. Yes, I called you a horrible person, in the context of as a driver, and I stand behind that. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, uh, bad driver, escalated to terrible driver. Yes. Also probably referred to as worst driver, according to Andrew. Correct. Idiot, and yes. variations such as dumb, stupid. Correct, correct. Um, crack addict. No, no, I said your, your addiction to your phone likened you to a crack addict. Just as I didn't say you are an idiot, I said the way you're driving in this situation is idiotic. I, d I did say all of those things, and I would stand behind all of them. Uh, you throw in one, Shamla. What do you see? I actually agree with Andrew because from what I saw, it was quite frustrating. It was very, very frustrating to watch the choices that you were making, the attitude that you were putting out there. Do you want to graduate this episode? Like I came here to learn how to reverse and I think I was able to pick up everything you guys said and I was able to do that. So for me, I feel like I've completed what I needed to. Um, Andrew! You feel like you've completed what you need to do? I feel, okay, you know what, whatever. I deserve to stay, I'm a driver, I get it. I believe I'm a driver. I'm I not believe... asking you to parrot me back to me. I'm asking, do you want to graduate this yes. episode? You want to? Yes. Cody also wants to graduate. Do you deserve to? I think I do. The way I'm looking at it is I can't screw up again. If I screw up again, I don't know if I'll ever get my license back. And I need my license. I need my life. My girlfriend, she'll probably leave me if I don't change. 
what you were doing on public roads, yeah, it's, uh, it's not acceptable, period. One of the reasons that got me uh, to do this show is because I lost personally someone really close to me, my cousin, from a car accident. And it's, it's, that's reality. After that conversation with Mike, that definitely made me open my eyes and realize that, you know, I'm the idiot that could put someone in jeopardy and right there that that kind of sunk in and i haven't stopped thinking about that do the rest of canada's worst drivers want to graduate ah uh, yeah oh my god yeah you do mm -hmm. not this episode no no i hope not i really hope not no not at all i do not want to graduate i want to come back next season next week no, next year. Next next year? Whatever Canada's Worst Drivers is on next, I want to be here too. Amrinder passed two of this episode's three challenges. But the experts unanimously believe that Cody should graduate. I disagree. I think his bad driving is pathological. A guy who's had his license suspended six times and only has one demerit point left, I just don't see a single conversation with someone changing him. You're saying he can fake it here, but not in real life. Absolutely, yeah. I disagree with you. You buy that? care. Yeah, I buy it. Tim also buys it. What I needed to see was the attitude adjustment. Okay. And I believe that he is sincere in what he's saying. Is this the year that we do the twist that the audience has been asking for, which is we keep everybody until the end? Tradition dictates that as this is the end of our second episode this year, it's time to name this season's first graduate. And as always, the experts based their decision purely on public safety. Namely, who would they rather see on the highway in the lane next to them as they drove home? And the answer is... The experts totally believe that you're sincere when you say you are a changed man. So, here's your driver's license. Here's my congratulations. And here's your license back. Well, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. You are a changed man, right? No more stupid <laughs> Thank you, man. Cody's driving history was full of stupid stuff. He was fond of public peel-outs, drifting through corners, and speed so excessive, they'd make a race car driver blush. You do know it's 60 here, right? It says 90, but the nine's upside down. That's the speed I've ever gone, uh, 260 kilometers an hour. In rehab, that was actually quite neat. Cody did learn from our experts. Now, one question, what yes. about height? But it was Mike who taught him the biggest lesson. You're the guy that killed me. Mike definitely changed my life. I never used to think when I was on the road. I always did stupid things, and I realized how much of an idiot I was. Well done. Oh, wait, 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 I got one more thing for you. Mike, I have this for him. Yes. I want you. I want you to keep this on your rearview mirror at all times, okay? I will. As a, as a will. reminder of the potential consequences of reckless driving, okay? Awesome. There we go. Be safe out there, buddy. Thank you. Who will change enough? to graduate next episode? I do not know. All I know is that one of these people is Canada's worst driver. On the next episode of Canada's Worst Driver. Hmm.
You know what? That symbol is the Aquarius symbol for synchronicity. The nominees learn how to use wing mirrors while reversing. Oh my god, I'm the first one to bring the tire! They run our annual Eye of the Needle challenge. Oh! Oh my god! I think I'm gonna throw up. And everyone gets ridden herd. Holy and put away wet on this season's water tank test. Uh, wrong turn.